Today in a meeting that uh, I was attending, there was a brief side discussion on the subject of work-life balance. And someone was asking, uh, what do you mean work-life balance? You mean there is no life in work or there is no work in life? Why would you compartmentalize those things? And I asked a question and I said, where did this idea of work-life balance begin from? From Genesis, when the garden was created and the man was created, was there the idea of work-life balance? When did we start talking about work-life balance? Anyway, this is a sideshow. In the series, we are talking about fun and purpose. We are answering the question, does pursuit of purpose make us devoid of fun? Is, is it true that a life of purpose is devoid of fun? We're answering those questions and more in the episodes in this new series. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Life Signatures episodes are brought to you by AfricanBooks.com, which is an online ebook platform that seeks to broadcast the African Christian voice to the world. As such, they have become a hub for African content, connecting African writers and publishers with a global reading audience. Publishing your books on their site is free and easy, with authors having full control over their content and the price they choose to sell at it. I was personally blown away by the concept that AfricanBooks.com is coming up with. Things like no content from their site or their app is going to be run on laptops so that people can easily copy. In other words, your content as a writer is restricted from digital multiplication or digital copying. So you remain intact with your information. And that concept that I got so blown away with was the fact that in some time to come, in due course, AfricanBooks.com will be starting to announce African Writer of the Year. In other words, there will be competitions in all African countries to figure out who is the best published author. And I also fell in love with the fact that countries can actually compete against each other. You can have African authors going at it after each other. And your book as an author will be reviewed and have some stars and recommended upon that particular platform. The thing is that it's an answer to Amazon.com. You know, with Amazon, what happens? You've got to have an account in the Americas or whatever, or in Europe before you can get paid as an author. But here, the local currency is in play and the local means of getting paid are in play. So to get started, go to AfricanBooks.com as an author or as a publisher and even as a reader if you wanted to read your African favorite authors. Enjoy! Fun and purpose should not be mutually exclusive. We've talked about that already. That you cannot have fun and there is no purpose in it and then you have purpose and there is no fun in it. Pursuit of purpose should not in any way make you negate fun. 
the thank god it's friday crew need to understand that pressure and fun and purpose should be things that happen together not compartmentalize of course there's the idea that you need to rest you need to take some time off you need to rest and all that stuff but it doesn't mean that when you're working on a monday there is no fun when you're working on a tuesday there's no fun the fun comes on the friday because you know there's not going to be a boss and there's going to be a deadline and all that stuff and then there's another extreme of guys most of them like me who work 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 right and there is basically no rest you are workaholics are you having fun in the work let me tell you something yeah we have fun in work when we are workaholics some of us we can't let it go we have to be disciplined enough just to say okay i'm stopping <laughs> yeah so we talked about Patrick Pitature yesterday in the incidences where he was mentioning fun Patrick Pitature is one of the biggest names in terms of business in East Africa he has interests with business in the entire East African market is one of the richest people in Uganda having a chain of businesses and so on i heard him speaking and he talked about having fun he was talking about fun in business and guess what he was talking about fun in hardship in business like he had debt 1 million dollars to pay he negotiated for 5 years to pay it back he paid it in 1 and a half years he said that was fun he had uh, business to in nigeria i think and uh, hemorrhaging and so on and so forth and i think he had to close it or something like that he said it was fun doing that adventure where does this fun come from even as we go deeper into this discussion where does this fun come from you see encouraging people to the life of purpose does not mean that you approach life with serious business like stunts from dawn to dusk from monday to sunday and from january to january the questioner's description of fun is totally different from what i have in mind when someone asked about fun in their estimation fun guess what it is easy going it is enjoyment it is social events movies sports winning a lottery going out with family fun and you cannot take away from that fact that that is fun but all my coaching clients know that lifestyle is a critical aspect of life that is incorporated in life and so today in the discussion when we were talking about work life balance someone said integration of activities in life you cannot compartmentalize work and life and say work life balance you mean work is not life so we have to approach life from that particular angle that the fun is not just about a compartment in our life that is totally different from work that we are doing the approach of lifestyle as we coach people is important we normally tell people that there is a different aspects of life such as finances business family spirituality mind body relationships and of course there is lifestyle and even in those things that we're talking about there is fun in spirituality there is fun in finances when you're trying to balance your books and you are accountable to yourself there is fun in business when you're trying to reach out and get new customers and serve the existing customers well there is fun in family when kids make mistakes and uh, we laugh at them and uh, you know they 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 grow and so on there is fun in the mind when you're trying to feed your mind and so on there is fun in physical exercises there is fun in relationships 
You cannot compartmentalize fun and say it's fun is a place where I am going to. Fun is part and parcel of life. This balance ensures that you have fun every single day. You are not cursing Monday and celebrating Friday at the same time. It is all the same thing. It is seamless. It is one and the same thing. You cannot, it's like when you put a drop of uh, blue paint, uh, blue ink in water and you stir it. You cannot separate it. I mean, it's all blue. It is seamless, one and the same thing. You see, if you have a notion of going somewhere to have fun as the only kind of fun you have going somewhere to have fun as the only kind of fun you're going to have it's kind of thinking uh, of your definition of fun very wrongly you are wrong you are maybe a, a bit right but you're not entirely correct Fun is not only when you're driving to go and do bungee jumping. Fun is part and parcel of daily living. Fun ought to be deep within our hearts and our spirits. And we need to carry it wherever we go. Wherever we go, we are carrying fun. Okay? And in the episodes tomorrow... And going forward, we're going to go deeper into that. But what are we establishing today? We're establishing that fun is not a place you go to. It's not a a compartmentalized kind of an approach to life where you find it on a Saturday. It is possible to have fun in your job. It is possible to have fun in your family and in your relationship. It is possible to have fun in your business and in your finances. Even if you are in debt... You can have fun crafting ways of making that debt being paid and making sure that you're not going to repeat the same thing ever again. Fun is part and parcel of our being, of our lives. It is not something that we go to. Of course, at the end of the day, there is that idea also that I am going to go and have fun. In other words, you've set aside some place, set aside some time where you will concentrate fully 100% on having fun, which is needed for reboot, for refreshing. It's needed for recreation. It's needed for depth in, in life. It's needed for our mental health and even our physical health. It's needed even for our emotional health, the refreshing that is needed on a daily basis. I mean, on an occasional basis. We can set aside some time but don't make a mistake to think that when you are not on vacation you're not having fun when you are not uh, uh, bungee jumping you're not having fun when you're not out with your spouse and in a room and so on you're not having fun right fun should be something that we carry within our hearts wherever we go so that when we, wherever we go, there we are and we are having fun there. And it's not to take from the fact, when I say this, it's not to take from the fact that sometimes life brings us curveballs and sometimes there needs to be seriousness. Sometimes we need to be serious with what we're doing. We need to crack our heads. But did you know that even in doing that, even in solving a problem, did you know it's fun? That's what Peter Ture was teaching us. That he had fun paying a debt of one million dollars in one and a half years instead of five years. It is fun to to solve a problem. It is fun to add value to someone's life. It is fun to make an extra dollar in your business. It is fun to pursue another idea. It is fun to create another source of income. It is fun in life to see your daughter or your son excel in one thing or another. It is fun when you have time with them. It is fun all over the place if we want to. So... The question we're answering is, is it true that a life of purpose is devoid of fun? No, it is not true. Tomorrow, we're going to go deeper and give you some examples that uh, you can be able to, to see in terms of fun and life. And then we're going to continue going deeper into this, even as we have started somehow winding up on this episode. Stay tuned and bye. 
Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.